Hi there, this is Jenny and I'm here with Hannah and we are going to be working on some leave it outside and some loose dish walking today. Um, so over here that board I have is a, um, a leave it board. So it's a uh, piece of pegboard um, with a bunch of different interesting things um, zip tied to it. Good girl. So we've got some squeaky toys, we've got rope toys, we've got um, some rawhide, chew bone type toys, um, a little uh, a Swiffer duster um, head top kind of thing, which those often look very much like toys. Hannah! Yes, good girl. And we're going to be working on um, some of our leash skills around this leave it board. So all of these things are tied down. I do have some milk bones set out on there um, <clears throat> that are, um, you know, of course, edible and takeable. Um, but for the most part, these are going to be things that even if Hannah gets um, close to them, she's not going to be able to oh, uh, take them. Yes, take them and run around with them so no uh, chase me games um, can happen. Um, if she gets them in her mouth, um, it's not going to be something I can't get away from her. Um, of course, uh, the exception being the milk bones, which if in, uh, in that case, if she does get a hold of one, um, they're pretty uh, uh, harmless. So they're a pretty neutral treat, um, don't upset tummies, or it's not, it's not something that she shouldn't be eating, so to speak. So whenever we practice our leave -its, we're practicing with things um, that um, could grow that it's okay if our dogs um, get a hold of them. Hannah! Pop, pop. Good. Um, <clears throat> so that we can get lots of practice without um, having the added worry of um, them actually getting hold of something they shouldn't. Um, and of course our leash should be our last um, kind of measure of defense um, out on the walk to uh, have her not be able to get to something. So as much as we can, we want to use our, our voice and um, calling her away from something because that's going to have a stronger impact for her overall. But of course we have our leash and our harness on as an extra kind of seat belt um, for something that she really shouldn't get a hold of, like a piece of trash or roadkill or something like that, something we really don't want Hannah to, to be involved with. So what I'm doing right now is we're just focusing around the leave-it board. I've just got some of her kibble here. Um, anytime that she does a behavior that is disengaging from this leave it board, I'm going to click and I can reinforce that disengagement by tossing the treat further away. So focusing back to me is something I'll reward for. She did a sit earlier. She's checking out other things in the environment. I'll click for that. Good girl. And I'm keeping it a pretty high rate of reinforcement. I want her to get a lot of good things from me as opposed to this board. Yes, good job. And of course, Hannah really likes when she can kind of get her treats um, in motion, whether that's good job, um, from the ground or catching the air. Right? Good choice. Oh, <laughs> rebound. Good job. All right. So now we can add some walking. Now that we're nice and focused.
I'm, again, I'm using that leash as management. So I'm not pulling her away, but I'm not letting her get closer. Hannah, leave it. Yes, good girl. I get a little bit of attention back from her or she disengages from this board. Good. And I'm gonna click and toss that treat further away. Good, so she's looking away. <laughs> um, and Hannah has proven to be pretty sneaky about her leave it. Um, so if I were to, let's see if I can get her to think she's going. Walk away. After she's done a good leave it or a series of good leave it, she sometimes will rebound back. Leave it. In, and she does alert bark quite a bit. <coughs> Hannah, sit. Good girl. Um, so we move to a higher value um, treat. <coughs> Hannah, <coughs> down, down, down. Yes, good girl. Um, working around the other dogs. Look. <coughs> down. Yes. Um, just to help her out a little bit, but we're going to stop there. Um, she's in a pretty good focused place. Um, I'm also doing a little bit of body blocking, so placing myself between her um, line of sight to the other dog or the person. Yes, good girl. And um, I don't mind that alert barking, but sometimes um, it can be kind of disruptive. Um, so I'm keeping a pretty high rate of reinforcement, trying to keep her from getting to that, um, that state. Ah. Yes, good girl. And she's doing a good job. So we'll stop there. We'll be back with more next time. Sit. Yes, good girl.